Puka Domain. This is Silencer, <laughs> also known as Jeff. The guy over there next to me, as you're all well aware, is Cryptic Mac, also known as Tony. Hola, como estas? Indeed. But uh, anyway, we're going to do a little Shisha review for you today. Sorry about the cloud interference. Video kind of kicked in a little sooner than I thought. Um, this one was actually sent to us uh, through the guys over at Hookah Addiction. Uh, it was very cool of them to send it to us because we had been very much interested in some of this uh, So It's Herbal Shisha we had been hearing and reading about. I mean, we had tried a few other ones. The Black Label, if you look back in our page history, you'll see we did some reviews on those. But, let's get down to business. Bring my Mountain Dew with me. <sighs> Packaging. There we are as such. Shiny. <laughs> yes, Tony, it has shiny stuff on it. Uh, this is one of the So Herbal Shishas. It is the white grape flavor. Uh, as I mentioned, it was graciously sent to us by the guys at Hookah Addiction because we were curious about different types of herbal shisha. A lot of people had been asking about them, and we figured to uh, try to get the response out there. Coming in very tiny pre-sealed containers like this. Um, the moisture level on it, if you can't see, it's a very, uh, it, it's more on the dry side. Uh, the, the, on the I'm trying not to, but, um, it is a little more on the dry side. Uh, it's not actual tobacco, which most people are aware of when it comes to herbal shisha. It's actually a, uh, gathering of uh, herbs and spices that are designed to replace it. Uh, incidentally, as, uh, as it is not in fact a tobacco, it does not have any tar or nicotine. So in many cases, it's the uh, pure, the uh, the pure way of doing a hookah. Um, very very finely cut. Um, I will say this: when packing, it, it gets a little difficult to differentiate. Um, you know what's a twig, and uh, <laughs> you know what what you would consider to be a stem, because all of it feels like twigs and stems. I mean, they're very rough. You know, it's kind of like wood shavings. <laughs> but, um... <coughs> man, I want to get that screen Sorry. off. <laughs> no, I've, I've been coughing like this for It's Not the Sheesh. Yeah. Well, that needs, you know, drinking while smoking a hookah while being Tony. But, um, regarding the smell on it, again, white grape flavor. Um, very, uh, very subtle. Um, at first, you think that, uh, you know, it does have a little bit of a different uh, twist to it, which I'm convinced is just the uh, special herbs and spices, for lack of a better way to put it. Um... But it does have a nice, a nice uh, grape scent to it. I'm not gonna lie. Our experiences with herbal shishas up until this point have, have have not left us with a very good impression of them. Although, again, me and Tony have no objection to doing tobacco, and we don't care for you know hitting ourselves with nicotine. So maybe it's just preference. Well, uh, my main reason I wanted to do uh, herbal versus anything else is because. You hardly ever see reviews on herbal. It's always on, you know, Starbuzz and Hookah Hookah and Hookah Free. You know, all the, you know, good stuff, but, you know, all the herbals left out because nobody wants to spend the money or even smoke it because of the flavor. Admittedly, they have gotten a bad rap, a lot of herbal shishas. I mean, everybody just knocks on them so bad, but they serve a function. I mean, you know, if you're looking for something, that you absolutely positively will convince your friends that you will not kill yourself in any way, shape, or form with a hookah, herbal stuff's the way to go. Now, um, as far as how this stuff smokes, um, again, as I said before, we actually had a little bit of a prejudice when it came to doing herbal shishas up until this point because we hadn't had very good experiences with them. But surprisingly, and again, this goes against the trend when it comes to Soix, this stuff actually wasn't that bad. I mean, you get a nice, light grape flavor on the exhale. Very light. And that's true. It's true. It's not a very powerful flavor. But again, for the amount of moisture that's in there, it was impressive from where I was sitting. And uh, the cloud sizes on it are pretty nice, as you may have seen us pulling during the, uh, the duration of this demonstration. Although we didn't load a full bowl of it, we probably already vaporized the stuff. Um, anyway, uh, all in all, it is... A pretty good smoke. I admit I'm missing my nicotine right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm just a fiend for it. But, um, you know, as far as the herbal shishas go, this is definitely one of the better ones I have tried. Um, again, I prefer tobacco, but for a lot of people, this is something that they were looking into. Um, the flavor is pretty good on this particular blend of Soex. I'm going to have one or two others that we'll review of here eventually. Um, I, I would actually say that if you are in the market for an herbal shisha, 
and you're concerned about, you know, if you're concerned about, you know, flavor being too weird or, you know, the fact that it's not tobacco related, this particular flavor from Soex, I would actually say I recommend. Um, it, I think it's a pretty good one. Tony? Yeah, if I was going to give it a number, I'd go with probably a six to a seven, somewhere in there. Yeah. Because it's, it's good. I mean, if we pack a full bowl and everything, we could probably sit here and smoke it for an hour and a half, two hours, and be perfectly fine with it because it's not harsh. It's not bad on the XL, and the clouds are fun. I mean, they're not fuck off clouds. And that's good. That was what was surprising is that, again, if you fast forward back in this video, because I think one of the negatives about the SOX is that it burns up pretty quickly because now this stuff's about vaporized. Fast forward, don't you mean rewind? Yeah, rewind, whatever, you know what I meant. Backwards, that way in the video. But, um, you'll see that it was pulling some really nice clouds for a while, which for an herbal shisha is rare. I mean, if, if that's like, if I had to pick something besides flavor that is a primary complaint about herbal shisha, it's probably going to be cloud size. But this stuff actually did pretty well. Uh, so, you know what, I'll, uh, I I'm going to go with Tony on this one. I'm going to take the slightly higher end, and I am going to give this one a very solid and well-earned 7.5. That That's the number I got for it. Um, again, the .5 just because I was expecting a little less, and this one exceeded my expectations. So, uh, you know, if you're in the market for an herbal shisha, I would try the Soex White Grape. Um, I think it's a good one. And, uh, again, if, if you're looking for something that has a, uh, a no-nicotine alternative, this is actually one of the very rare, better ones that I've sampled. Anyway, um, we'll have another set of reviews coming out soon. We have some new stuff sent to us by Jonathan, which we very much appreciate. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Silencer. The guy you have a close-up of his face, that would be Tony with his glasses and his baldness. And we will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We will have a review of my hookah sometime.